so the complete market development if it is uh, going well uh, okay so obviously the fund rising is very easy risk diversification obviously when the investment which is completely going for uh, either you are getting a resource from the individual or businessman so the risk part is very very important formal system is which is coming under the uh, proper guidelines and regulations uh, if you take an example for rbi which is coming under a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lecturer in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 1 session 3 fifth semester financial institution and marketing bcom subject the chapter name is financial institu system in india and today my agenda uh, you will get to know the clarity about the financial sector reform okay and the financial system and economical development and what are the weakness and limitation of indian financial system are facing okay moving one by one the first one the financial sector reform okay now the reform which, which is if you're talking related to the economical reform 1991 uh, okay finance minister manmohan singh uh, okay so because of uh, very smoothening the complete financial system to increase the industry okay so just uh, mobilizing the saving from the individuals okay so the first one the strengthening of regulatory framework so you need to because there are different uh, uh, components where when we are discussed in the last session which is complete uh, uh, under RBI guidelines, under SEBI, under IRDA. Okay, so here yeah, uh, implementing or updating financial regulation to ensure the reboost and uh, response due to evaluating market condition. Because any financial system, if it is properly very good for the uh, economical development, of course, you need to pull the money uh, from the uh, individual saver. Obviously, the financial system is contribution for the total economic okay, development. So here, yeah, enhancing supervision. So because when you are uh, supervising the activity which is coming under the financial system, okay, what and all which is a uh, uh, financial instrument are there, the strengthening in the supervision of financial institute prevent fraud, uh, misconduct, uh, and excessive risk taking. Okay, so these are the activities. So uh, just for avoiding the fraud, uh, okay, misconductions. Okay, so uh, when the supervisions are properly uh, as per the guidelines, uh, whatever the made a uh, board control here. And the regulatory authority often employ risk based supervisions to allocate resource effectively because as a uh, industry either you are talking related to small scale industry or middle scale okay so obviously the rising a fund is a resource fund okay because they are committing to purchase the equipment okay so they, they need finance okay uh, now third one uh, banking sector reform so uh, which is mainly focusing for the complete banking system which is coming under the RBI okay addressing issue in the banking sector such as non-performing loan okay non-performing asset which is not generating any revenue okay so that's what uh, uh, the capital adequacy uh, ratio which is called, for example the banking are uh, maintain uh, they need to uh, follow the uh, SLR uh, statutory liquidity ratio or uh, cash reserve ratio which is uh, maintained by the individual banking sectors are maintained in the RBI. Now capital a uh, liquidity management because they need to maintain liquidity that's what the liquidity management we are talking in this okay and the measure may include recapitalization after getting the fund from the small uh, investor okay obviously we need to go for capitalization here and the resolution framework and the consolidation of bank so uh, when the monk, uh, bank different different banks are merging together they are operating because of capitalization here and the fourth one market development so the complete capital market how it is working okay obviously under the guidelines of uh, uh, number of uh, authority okay so the developing and uh, deeping financial market uh, including bond market equity market and derivative market okay optional market uh, so there are different markets are monitor or supervised control regulated okay so this can provide business with the uh, additional avenue for the financing and investment so the complete market development if it is uh, going well uh, okay so obviously the fund rising is very easy
So next one, the corporate governance, uh, which is talking related to the governing here, the strengthening of corporate governance uh, standard uh, within the financial institute uh, to ensure responsibility to decision making and risk management. So completely the governance which is related to the corporate, uh, so obviously there you can find out the risk which is uh, uh, systematic risk and unsystematic risk, uh, so it can be reduced. So moving to the financial system, economic development, how the financial system will go uh, contributing for the economic development, why individual country, how they are depending for the complete uh, uh, financial system adapted in the uh, respected country. So the first one, the capital formation. So uh, whenever the capital are increasing, okay, obviously the capital increasing with the help of a different financial instrument, so the capital formation is very essential for any business or any industry. Okay, so a well-functioning financial system encourage capital formation by mobilizing saving from the household channelizing them into productivity investment. So if the uh, primary expenditure as an individual, they are committing for the primary expenditure and secondary expenditure, then also having a surplus means they want uh, actually the financial institute, uh, they want to pool. After pooling the money, so the same amount is, uh, uh, the same fund is going for the productivity activity, like uh, in the industry are committing for purchasing a uh, land uh, or uh, productivity or uh, machinery is required to start production okay so next one resource allocation so not only for the financial aspect there are different uh, resources are connected for the productivity so the financial institute help allocate resource efficiently by directing fund to industry or sector that have highest potential for growth so obviously when uh, whenever you are finding a progress uh, obviously which is depending on the uh, resource allocation proper optimized uh, resource allocations can be done here and the next one risk diversification obviously when the investment which is completely going for either you are getting a resource from the individual or businessman so the risk part is very very important the financial market allow individual and institute to diversify their investment and reducing overall risk after getting the saving from the individual people they actually the financial institute they are lending a loan for the needy people okay either which is related for the neglect sections like agriculture improvement uh, or dev which is completely focusing on the development section either you are developing an industry or agriculture okay so our infrastructure basis next uh, entrepreneurship and innovation so obviously the number of uh, entrepreneurs are increasing with the help of financial assistant and financial support uh, there is uh, actually lot of innovations we are finding okay so compared to other developed country so access to finance to critical for the entrepreneur and innovator. Obviously, when the innovators, they are coming with the innovative idea to implement, of course, they need a finance support. So, okay. And a well-developed financial system provide funding opportunity for the startup and businessman. If they have an innovative idea or new concept, which is able to, they, they want to start production, uh, they are depending on the financial support. Obviously, we can uh, expect the financial support from the financial institute here yeah? and uh, fostering the entrepreneurship and technological advancement because we need to compete with the go globally obviously the financial investment are very very essential and uh, next one infrastructure development so the financial system not only uh, focusing for the sector or industry or business so in industry the infrastructure development if the country are developing either city or state wise so the infrastructure how they want to develop uh, Okay, so large infrastructure projects such as road, bridge, uh, power plant often require to sustain capital investment. So obviously the financial system, it is properly working under the conditions, under, under the guidelines. Uh, okay, so they want to promote, uh, they want to develop the activities, which is very, very essential for the human beings. Next one, the monetary policy transmission. The monetary policy which is related to completely an efficient financial system help to central bank which is the RBI implement monetary policy for more effectively because the government having a responsibility for the commitments like expenditure which is related to capital expenditure. So the monetary which is completely talking related to the monetary policy.
And next one, what are the weakness of Indian financial system? There is a, a few limitations we are finding. So the first one, limited financial inclusions. Many people, especially in the rural area, do not have access basic financial service like bank account, loan and insurance. So which is very important because of now modern banking, we are trying because of most of the banking institute, they are opening a branch or unit in the rural areas. Before that, we are facing like individuals are not getting a benefit from the bank okay next one informal sector dominance so before if you are talking related the formals means which is completely coming under the banking system and informal uh, which is not the the owner land owner is lending money or indigenous banker lending money okay giving a loan so they are the dominance here a significant portions of the economical activity in india still take place in the informal sectors like uh, they are not coming under the banking so they are also uh, providing a loan facility or interest they are charging high rate of interest okay so these are the uh, peoples are dominating uh, which operate outside the formal uh, financial system. Formal system is which is coming under the uh, proper guidelines and regulations. Uh, if you take an example for RBI, which is coming under, okay, and uh, this limit uh, effectively to the monetary policy and financial regulation. A third one, non-performing asset. So here, Indian banking have a face challenge related to high level of non-performing asset uh, in recent year because uh, there is no revenue generation. There is no capital movements here so in this uh, this has uh, eroded their profitability and require government uh, interventions to recapitalization some public sector so if any capital you are expecting you are any uh, you are accepting a deposit from the small saver okay obviously the capital want to utilize properly and uh, next fourth one lack of depth in the bond market because uh, we are not uh, talking only for the share uh, equity shares or preferential so the bond which is related to india bond market is not a develop in, in an equity market so how the equity market are a developer so the bond uh, market is not developed properly there is a limited uh, diversity to in terms of bond instrument okay and the corporate bond market is relatively small compared to the government bond so obviously there is a uh, which is also one kind of instrument so uh, the investor want to take uh, so responsibility weak investor protection the weak uh, investor protection because uh, somebody want to protect so that's what uh, uh, investor protection and corporate governance standard in India are not in the uh, robust as uh, some other developed country. If you try to compare for the developed country, how the complete regulations are implemented, how they are supervising the financial institutions. Okay, so this can lead to corporate fraud and abuse, which can be undermine investor confidence. The investors are they are not ready to go for the investing money, so because of weak investor protection. So next one, the regulatory challenge. So there is a different, different components you are familiar. So in this, the regulatory environment in, in India can sometimes be complex and subject to frequent changes. There is a lot of changes are going because of instrument, because of market condition. Obviously, we want to adapt and implement the better strategy. This can uh, create uncertainty for the investor and the businessman because uh, they are not finding a which is a very favor to them. Uh, next one, the high regulatory compliance burden. So if too much uh, regulations are there for any uh, specific instrument, financial instrument, so uh, the instruments uh, marketing is very difficult. So the finance sector in India often face high regulatory complex burden, okay, which can be increased operational cost for financial institute uh, and it under for easy of doing a business. So obviously the regulation, if it is freely operate, uh, okay, obviously there is you are finding a more capitalizations are arising keep on watch for next session thank you